Yeah, hold on. Alright, hold on a second. Take you out of my ears. Yeah. Uh, who would I talk to about filing a complaint uh, uh, against an officer? Okay, I can give you a form for internal affairs. Okay. Thank you. Okay, um, now is this also where I would get policy, police procedure? Uh, you will get that from internal affairs. From, and, and that can go on here as well? Is, that, is this also a public request form for, for policy as well as a complaint form? All that's done through the internal affairs. Yeah, this is a citizen complaint form. Where's the, where's the, the uh, APRA request form? You'll have to request it on there. You have to request an APRA form on here? A what? An APRA request? A freedom of information request. I'm not sure what the officer's name is. He wouldn't identify. Thank you. Uh, over here? Okay. Are you doing? Johnson with Internal Affairs. Okay. Um, yeah, I had an incident yesterday with an officer, um, and and I'm just looking to find out policy before I fill out a complaint um, because they said it's a criminal offense if you file a complaint that's unfounded or not correct. Um, but he wouldn't identify himself. No, the officer. Yes. Okay. Well, they're supposed to. There's a policy right. regarding that. Right. But uh, in order to get a copy of the policies, I just called the law department, and you have to fill out a public a request for public information, right, right. which I got here. Right. And you can either mail it back in here or drop it off, and they fill it out the law department. Right. They'll get you copies of what it is you're requesting, but right. it's just a standard procedure that right. everybody has to follow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah, well, that's what I was asking the lady at the windows of is the APRA form. It's in an APRA request. I mean, it's not really a FOIA request, right? I'm sorry? It's not a FOIA request, it's an APRA request, correct? It's just a request to access public records. Okay. Now, now, is, now, can I also put on their dash cam, any dash cam? They both had cameras. Two of the officers there had cameras. Can I request those those photos as well? Uh, yes, you can. I tell you what, do you have a number that I can contact you, or I can give you a number you can call us back? I need to check with the secretary. I believe that, I'm not sure if that requires a different form, or if it's... The same thing. Yeah, because they were taking pictures of me with their dash cam footage, and and uh, you know he kept telling me the names on his chest, and he wouldn't pronounce it, and he wouldn't give me his badge number, um, and I and I thought that was very unprofessional of the Fort Wayne Police Department. I, I've, I've dealt with many many police departments, and then that's got to be probably the one most um, unprofessional acts of an officer I've seen in Fort Wayne. That's. Uh, well, you got the complaint form, correct? Yes. Yeah, but I didn't want to file out the complaint form until I had the the okay. proper to make sure that it was in their policy that they had to identify or how they had to identify gotcha. um you know i didn't want to misrepresent anybody uh oh, I when I, you know i was reporting on a story and, and and they showed up on scene right um via a call so okay um let me get a piece of paper okay. i'll write down the number to call as soon as our secretary gets back from lunch okay i'll double check with her and find out uh, if it's if that request for video can be put on the same form or okay. how they work that. Okay, now exactly. now what happens if it's their personal cell phones they were taking pictures with? I mean, I have a right to those photos. They were they were under the color of law. If you if you want to if you want to look at the video, I actually have a, a footage of it. 
It's under YouTube, Indiana News and Information. It's it's the uh, Hazelwood uh, Post Office. Okay. And and it was um, I'm not even sure what the officer's name was. Um, and I'll be honest, I can't answer that question directly. I probably right. have will have to check with the law department to see how that works. Right. So. Um, I'm so not but yeah. Lead you because. Right. To be honest, I don't know how to answer that question, so I'd have to refer you. Right. You know, to the law department to see. Right. Information they can give you. Right. Yeah. I mean, if it's their personal phones, that just kind of opens the door to accessing more information on their phone than they're probably going to be comfortable with. And I'll right. access it all. Probably require a warrant to do so. No, it won't require a warrant. I mean, if they're under the color of law, I already know the Indiana code. But it's um, a personal cell phone. But but is, they're still acting in their in in the full capacity of their duty under the color of law. If it was their personal cell phone and they're off duty, that's one thing. But they they weren't off duty. They were there. They had a badge. They had a nameplate. They had a car. I mean, even even your officer was parked on the wrong side of the road. So I don't know if 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 police vehicles are not subject to the same traffic laws that 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 standards cars. I mean, it was parked on the wrong side of the road with no emergency lighting. Right. Um, to me, that's that's not. And that's stuff that you can put into your uh, complaint form. If, I mean, if that's something that you want to have addressed. Right. Um, I don't know what they were there for. I don't know what the call was. What the nature of it was. Because I was out there filming the post office. Oh, okay. Post office of call. Mm -hmm. Okay. From a from a public from a public vantage point. Okay. From the sidewalk. The postmaster came out and said she didn't want me out there. I said I have every right to be here. And then she was going to call the police. So instead of running and and hiding down down city streets, I decided to wait there to see if her 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 allegations were going to be correct. And they were. The police came. Okay. Um, they they didn't do anything else. I mean, they were very professional, other than the fact that he wouldn't ID himself and then parked on the wrong side of the road. But uh, but when they started taking pictures with cell phone cameras instead of using their body cameras and dash cams. That tells me that they're trying to uh, do something nefarious with those photos. So I want to make sure that that those photos weren't sent off anywhere. That they weren't they weren't sent to their friends, neighbors, um, yeah. and, and, and under the course of their duties, because that's not within the Indiana code law. Plus, to find out if they were actually are, are they all ILEA certified? Our officers. Yes. Yes. And so they've had this 2017 training, and they're getting ready to have the 2018 stops training and all that good stuff. Yeah whatever training the academy sets up for us to do this so they've had so so the 2017 dealt with photography in public certain portions it just depends right. i mean there's only certain requirements that indiana requires you to have certification in you right. have 24 hours of ongoing training every year right and there's certain criteria that have to be met the other criteria are just open for right yeah department <clears throat> to determine what they want to instruct on right yeah i've, I've been in contact with ilea um, okay. quite, quite a bit with with other state agencies okay. um at other police agencies and i just uh, am, am concerned with four way not not abiding by by some of those i mean you're a big town so oh, yeah. I mean, I mean, if you have just officers running around like it's a wild, wild west, that's not going to be good for the citizens. I mean, I mean, they're 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 public employees. They work for the people, and and they, and they should be held accountable for for actions that they take under the course of their duties. Oh, I agree. So you know, like I said, I you mean, they're professional. So uh, up until the point they started taking pictures with their maybe personal phones, I don't know if they were personal phones or not. Like I said, if they start emailing those or start sending those to their friends, their neighbors. You know, I mean, I don't know if they've got they've got so quote unquote you know knee breakers out there. That they said, hey, this guy's giving us trouble. Why don't you go pay him a visit? I highly doubt that. But I, 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 I don't know until I get the photos they have on their phones, where those where they went and who they who they sent them to, or if they actually put them into the IA or sent them to the fusion center. Yeah. You guys do have a fusion right. center, right? Indiana has a fusion center. Right. So I mean, did they send them? Which is fine. I'm sure my, my I'm sure my photos at the fusion center more than just a couple of times. So I'm, I'm not I'm not opposed to having my picture taken, but I'd like to know if it was sent there or not. Let me um, let me get a piece of paper and okay. write down the phone number that uh, yeah. you'll need to call back to in a little bit. I think okay. it's about an hour. She should be yeah. back in the office. She had an appointment. Okay. So um, she should be she'll be able to answer your question as far as the in car footage stuff goes. Right. Um, as far as the personal cell phone part goes, uh, more than likely they have to refer you to the law department just okay. to get their take on it. Right. Um, just for the simple reason that usually once things reach a certain level, we just turn over to the law department because right. 
the right, right. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not asking anybody to do anything that they're not supposed to. I want them right. to, 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 to go within what the standard is. I don't want anything for free that's, yeah. that I'm not supposed to get because then I that would you. corrupt what I'm reporting on as well. Right. Let me get you that phone number okay. and then I'll give you this sheet with it. Okay. All right. Thank you, yeah. sir. This is her direct line. Okay. So I'd say give about an hour. Okay. Call her. She'll be able to answer that question for you. Awesome. Well, I appreciate All your right. time. All right. Thank well, you very much. Have a good day. Yep, you too.